28th of September 2023, this news flashing will talk a bit about the UN. UN feedback shows that while the West is hostile to Russia, the world isn't. The US and its allies are beating a drum that isn't finding receptive ears. Most states have other priorities. Now that is a reality that the Americans, that the warmongers sitting in a shit house in Washington, they refuse to take note of the realities. They forever busy stirring shit wherever they can and they're always stoking fires for war. What is wrong with those people? Why can they not focus on their country and spend their money on their citizens? Why not? The bigger question is, why the fuck is the American population allowing these cretins to pull them onto the roller coaster ride to hell? Why? It is as if the West has accepted their fate and they are now just sitting and watching everything fall apart around them. They've been stunned into inactivity and it is going to cost them a lot. And then there was Erdogan, a little bit of a bright light. Turkey's president questions the LGBT colors at the UN. Look at that colors at the back on that wall. Erdogan expressed discomfort with what he th termed LGBT colors at the United Nations where the Sustainable Development Goals were being promoted with vibrant colors. Erdogan mentioned his desire to discuss this matter with the UN Secretary General Antonio, Antonio Guterres. One of the issues that bother me the most is that when entering the United Nations General Assembly you see the LGBT colors on the steps and other places. Erdogan said, how many LGBT are there in the world right now? However, much right they have on these steps, those against LGBT have as much right as well. And that is well said. I read an article last night in which a guy, I didn't read it, I, was, I listened to a debate, and there was a Muslim guy there. And he said something that is something that we should think about. He said that yes, there is differences between Muslims and Christians, but there's also a lot of similarities. And both groups value basically the same principles, common decency, conservative values respect for their faith and he said that maybe it is time that the Christians and the Muslims start talking to one another sensibly and realize that they are both fighting the same enemy and to me being the type of guy that I am that makes a hell of a lot of sense because the onslaught is satanic and we need to focus on defending everything that we stand for against that. And then there was this commentary that I saw. Oh, the delicious irony of modern warfare. Eco-friendly edition. Picture this. Electric tanks rolling across enemy lines, not even leaving a carbon footprint as they destroy entire communities. Excuse us while we obliter obliterate your country, your city, but don't worry, our fighter jets are using green fuel. Your air has never been cleaner. Is the Pentagon now staffed by rogue environmentalists? What could possibly go wrong? Meanwhile, let's not forget about those recycled depleted uranium shells being used in Ukraine. 
Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's not just for paper and plastic anymore. Tragic comedy at its finest, especially when Donald Trump ends up being the closest thing to the voice of reason. Oh, what a world. And I must agree 100% with this. And then we get this from Biden. Breaking. Biden administration engages in arms negotiations with Vietnam, potentially raising tensions with Russia and China. The Biden administration is currently negotiating with Vietnam on a historic arms transfer agreement, which could be the largest ever between former Cold War foes. This deal, known, as, known to two Reuters insiders, has the potential to unsettle China and reduce Russia's influence. The prospective package expected to materialize in the next year may solidify the recently enhanced partnership between the United States and Vietnam. It could involve the sale of a fleet of American F-16 fighter jets to Vietnam. And then the comment, they destroyed that nation once already, but looks like the US wants to do it again. Now, the reality is this. There are countries in that region that it will take a thousand years to clean up all the unexploded ammunitions that the Americans dropped on them. The Americans has been going around the globe sowing death and destruction. They bomb countries, poor countries, they bomb their infrastructure into oblivion and they think it is a great achievement. But with every one of these, let's call them startup nations, that has been destroyed by the West, the hatred for the West grows bigger. As it is today, the so-called West is there is less than 20% of the world's population. And in the other camp, you have got countries like Russia, China, North Korea, Iran. Those four countries together will wipe the West off the map in conventional warfare. And then there are those cynics that say, yeah, but they'll go nuclear. Well, if they go nuclear, it will be the West that goes nuclear. That will also be the end of the earth. But the people of the West need to understand, you better go back to your tribe. The tribes must take their land back. The tribes must take control over their land. The tribes must control take control over their future because these globalists are planning to wipe us all out and it is only the tribes that can stop it. I feel sorry for that cosmopolitan block in between that has grown up tribeless and cultureless. They fucked as far as I'm concerned. They don't have a future. They are some of the carbon that will be reduced because they chose it. And they were bred for that purpose. But the reality is that's a small group has got total control over America. And that group uses America as a collective to coerce the other Western countries in following their madness. Under guidance from the White House, Ursula van der Crazy in the EU Politburo basically destroyed the European economy with the sanctions against Russia. So it's a small group that is destroying the lives of millions of people. And the big problem is the people don't really have a voice in, politi in the politics anymore. They don't have it. Politics has been captured by that triple X tribe known as politicians right around the West 
And that tribe is destroying the future of the different nations. And most and the nations are powerless. That it looks like they're powerless. But it's more a case of they have been whipped into submission. So they just accept all the shit that comes from the politicians. Instead of looking around themselves, gather the tribes together, and on one day make a decision, politicians must go, and the politicians is rooted out. But if the people is not going to do that, I see a dark future for the West. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. The sharing is really important. And I want to thank the people that are supporting the channel financially. I really appreciate that. Have a great day.